cops, what you're doing is wrong. What you're doing is illegal. Let the patients go. Don't talk to them if you're still in there and a member of the collective. Don't say anything at all. Ask to see a lawyer. Tell him you will remain silent. What's happening here is wrong. The law is, is being broken, but it's being broken by the men that and women that are dressed up in uniforms, not the patients who are members of this collective. Ladies and gentlemen, what you are doing is wrong. This collective is legal. No law has been broken here, and you will be held accountable for your actions in the court of public opinion. No law has been broken. Ladies carrying the evidence, you are thieves. You have stolen medicine, you have stolen patient records, and you have stolen what remains of safe access in this county. That is the only illegal thing going on here, is them stealing our medicine, stealing the patient records, and closing down safe access. This facility pays taxes. This facility cleans up our neighborhood. This is a benefit to San Ysidro. What you're doing is you are bringing crime to our community by closing safe access. We have seen study after study show that even unregulated dispensaries reduce crime. What you're doing is committing a crime. So for the patients in there, know that we are out here, we stand with you, and we stand here against the illegal actions of law enforcement. Do not talk to them. Do not answer any of their questions. Tell them you want to see a lawyer. Tell them that you will not speak to them. Why are you masked officers? What are you afraid of? Are you afraid to show the public your face? What you're doing, if you're not breaking the law, then how come you won't show the public your face? Is it because you are afraid that the public doesn't support what you're doing? You are nothing but a bunch of thieves. You are here to steal medicine. You are here to steal patient records. You are breaking the law and you are stealing from our community, from our patients. You are illegal and you are wrong and we will not stand by quietly while this happens. None of us are hiding. None of us have a mask. None of us are afraid to stand out right here and tell you that we are legal. No law is being broken except for you breaking the law. We support you. Yeah, we support the patients in there. Not the ugly faces staring out the window wearing those uniforms. We don't support you. We want you to release the patients that are remaining in this facility. We want you to let them go. And there is the same safe breaking company as is at every rate. Folks, this company who's van is right there, is here to break into their safe, to take their money, and to take their medicine. What he's doing is wrong. You, uh, you sir, are immoral and wrong. This is illegal. These actions will not be tolerated by this community. We oppose these actions. We oppose what you're doing. Hey there, police officer, why are you hiding? What do you got to hide? Huh? Are you happy to be taking down patients? Do you enjoy it? Wouldn't you be rather taking down crack houses? Did you know that after this place closes, if it does, crime will increase? Did you know that because this place has been right here, crime has increased? Do you realize what you're doing is increasing crime? You're not protecting us. You're not protecting the community. For all the folks in the neighboring businesses, we are truly sorry that they are making a ruckus here. Our intent is not to disrupt your business. But what's happening here is illegal. It is wrong. And that's why we're standing up. That's why we are here as volunteers, standing up for what is right. And what is right is that patients get safe access. Can you imagine if your pharmacy was being raided for no good reason? That's what's happening here. It's really not your typical raid when cops come out and the public comes out and yells at you, is it? It's a different kind of raid when you come and do something to the public instead of for the public, isn't it? It's a different thing when you come out and nobody around seems to be on your side. Everybody around seems to be against you because for some reason you're here against everybody here. It doesn't make much sense. It's actually pretty damned ludicrous.
SDF is used to running into a place and everybody scattering and running because they're criminals. Not everybody gathering and talking and yelling at you because you're doing the wrong thing. You woke up on the wrong side of the bed this morning and you did the wrong thing. For doing what was wrong. When they knew what they did was wrong. They'll drop what they're doing because they know it's wrong. Gravity pulled that down. The neighbors are wondering why you're doing what you're doing. They'd like you to protect and serve them, not yourselves, not the federal government. You're sworn to protect them. What are you doing? Woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Put the uniform on and said, I'm going to do whatever the hell they tell me to do. I'm not going to listen to reason. I'm not going to listen to science. I'm not going to listen to the law. The I am going to go. I am going to go. Right yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're just going to, you can uh, go back out. that way. And uh, the guy's right there at uh, the Sure, I'd be happy to, officer. Look at those doctor's recommendations being stolen. Those are undercover agents right there in the car, stealing marijuana from patients. That's what those guys are doing. I don't think this alley has ever been this safe or this clean. Anything that would happen in this area could be subpoenaed and brought to court because of that camera right there. And that camera right there. And several others that y'all don't several even know exist. On the other side that they have now disabled to disrupt the public. They have disabled those to not serve and protect, but to do something else. Buenas tardes, mi nombre es Micaela. Uh, yo acabo de recibir mi, uh, mi prescripción de uh, medicina, marihuana de ma medicina. Yo estaba bajo muchas medicinas uh, por de psiquiatra, antidepresión, para dormir. Uh, yo no soy ningún drogadicto, no soy drogadicto, no alcohólico, nada. Y de enseguida comencé a fumar uh, mar marihuana medicinal. Yo me ha podido uh, recuperar de mis medicinas que ya no tomo como antidepresivas para dormir, que son de veras adictas. La medicina Clonopin, la medicina Ambien, la medicina Wellbutrin, todo eso me tenía muy nerviosa y con muchos problemas para dormir y todo eso eran adictivas. Yo poco por poco me quité de esas medicinas y comencé a enterarme de cómo quitarme de esas medicinas. Yo me comencé a, 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 comencé a fumar a marihuana a medicinal y desde entonces mi cuerpo se relaja, duermo bien, me despierto bien y no tengo ningún problema mental, físicamente, ni uh, withdrawals. ¿Cómo dice withdrawals? No tengo ningunos efectos secundarios como las medicinas que me daba el psiquiatra. Hello everyone, my name is Micaela Salcido. I was under a lot of prescription medicines from antidepressants. and a number of other ones. I was addicted to those medicines. I was continually getting problems mentally, uh, physically, and other types of neurological problems. And it was very hard for me to get off of them. I began to find out about medical marijuana. I'm not a drug addict. I'm not an alcoholic. I am an athlete. I am a triathlete. I scuba dive, I surf, I bike ride, I jog, I do every kind of sport you can imagine. And since I began to take medical marijuana, all I need is one, two, three small amounts of hips, puffs, and that's all I need. I now wake up healthy with no problems, no mental uh, issues with such as withdrawals, and I don't understand why these dispensaries keep getting shut down because 
I have gone through so many dispensaries and next thing you know, a week later, they're gone. So, I do not understand. I fully support medical marijuana because I am proof that this does work. Yes, people can abuse it, but taking it properly, it is a very good medical uh, alternative. Thank you very much. But in practice, on the ground actions, they speak for themselves. And all of that will come out in court when we sue you. That's right, when we sue the DEA and the NTF agents that are breaking the law and your bosses. All of you will be held accountable for what you're doing, one way or another. What you're doing is breaking the law. What you're doing is immoral. What you're doing is wrong. It is something that should be a civil issue. If you have a problem with how the collective operates, send them a notice. Ask for an audit. Take them to state court. Let's resolve this issue. But why send armed agents with guns, with masks, as if some kind of criminal activity is going on here? There's nothing going on here besides legitimate patients with recommendations from a doctor getting their medicine legally. That's what's happening here. And these DEA agents and these NTF agents decided to come and put a stop to that. That's right. They want the drug dealers back. That's right, they want the local drug dealers back out here dealing different drugs, trying to get our children and trying to get everybody hooked on other substances and trying to absolutely corrupt our community. This facility, on the other hand, is cleaning up our community. This facility right here is following all state laws. They're doing everything right. I said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more. They pay their taxes. They clean up their neighborhood. They do everything right. What you're doing is wrong. And all the patients that are still stuck in there, we stand with you. We stand in solidarity with you. We support you and we will not let this go quietly. The NTF officers inside and the San Diego City police officers outside are all very much aware that everybody in there is a legitimate patient. They are very much aware that every dispensary that they've gone into, they have a shortage of finding anybody that is not a patient. So therefore, what you have here is a specific attack against the sick and dying people of this city by what is supposed to be the city's finest. What is supposed to be people protecting our citizens from harm. Not people that would come in and decide that what they think is the law that morning is the law. All the rest of the state law can go to hell as far as they were concerned this morning. They would have woke up and said, My boss said that I got to do whatever he said, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. Didn't you? Isn't that exactly what you said this morning? You ran in there with a shock and awe treatment of sick and dying people because you have a hatred for a law which you, you, you will not uphold. You expect everybody else to uphold whatever law you say. But you will not uphold any law on the books you don't agree with, will you, officer? Hey, officer, with the face covered, you don't want anybody to see you because you're embarrassed of what you're doing. I would be embarrassed too. I know for a fact that there was a grandmother in there that was trying to get her medicine, and you went in with a gun to her face because you don't like her medicine. I couldn't hear what you said, I'm sorry.
organized crime was running marijuana and killed dispensaries, then patients didn't have to go to the black market. So what you would rather do is make patients and a black market very, very rich, right? That's why? Why would you do that? You're supposed to serve and protect. You went to bed last night thinking I'm going to wake up and serve and protect. And then so what the heck? What are you doing here? You're not serving. You're not protecting. That's why they voted you away from here, not in here. You were never asked by the voters to come here. You were asked by the voters to stay clear from here. Let them go. 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 Officer, do you have any idea how much it costs for your you, you and your unit per hour? We'd like to do a tally about how much money is being wasted messing with known legitimate patients when you could have walked in there with two suits and a notebook. Because here it is. DEA, go away! 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 Make sure you tell Chris Lindbergh. I see that. You tell Chris Lindbergh when you get to the office that just because he lost the job on just in case today, he didn't have to do this. The DA ain't going to be happy about this complaint, buddy. You talk from over there. We got a lawyer right here on site. And I, and I promise you I will make that complaint Today's against Joe you, sheriff, police, everybody. Today's Joe Biden Jackson case makes what you guys doing know that. completely illegal and Your it makes Chris Lindbergh happy about this look like a fool. Your boss will not be happy tomorrow morning. You will hear about this. Make sure there you watch the 6 o'clock news you on you guys all, all day Go tomorrow. You put all your fellow tomorrow officers you will have the right here. to explain why you guys are having all these Officers, for no reason. You gotta go that way. Let's Please go. go that way. Thank you. Is it a lawful order, officer? Huh? Yes, it is. Okay, the next okay. step would be an arrest. We don't want it to get to that, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. So just stay on, right there on the public right away. Stop. We will remember your faces. How do you guys feel about that? about science. So when you go back and you talk to Lindbergh about this bus, you make sure you bring up the Jawan Jackson case. You read the decision of today, line by line. You learn the words, because that's going to be recited to you in this case. That's my personal property. You put it back. Put my property back. That's my personal property. That is my collective. That is my property. You put it back. Guess how you psychologically Officer, I'd like to I would like to launch yeah, a complaint that? that my property is currently being stolen. Isn't that crazy? None of us are afraid of you guys. That's okay. Not one. In front of kids. We're not afraid of the handcuffs. We're not afraid of you taking us in for being out here. We're really not. You know why? Because we know what you guys are doing is wrong. We know that. Look it up. People v. Jackson it came out today, Fourth Appellate District. It clearly says you don't have to all grow to be a legal dispensary. You don't. You can just come in and buy marijuana if you're a patient and a member. That's all you got to do. Look it up. Came out today. Fourth Appellate District. There's a reason why these assholes decided to raid today. Feeling good about yourself? Feeling good. Where's Officer Carlson at? What's Is he up, with man? you? How much are you keeping and how much are you doing? Make sure you tell Lindbergh and that this can. case That's is going to be now. just like the one he lost today. Nothing different. It's a minority that he's going to try to throw the book at and get it tossed right back in his face. Make sure you tell Body Jimenez that Asa was here waiting for you, talking to you about Chris Lindbergh's farm fallacy, that whole group farm fallacy. It's a failure in court. All the way up. All right, look at that brotherly handshake. So much love. Huh? You feel good about that? Torturing minds and shit? You feel good about torturing people? You feel good about returning your guns to the public? You feel good about that? Huh? You got something to say about that? You hit your face because you're ashamed of yourself.
Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see each one of you sitting in the courtroom. Yeah. I look forward to it. You will get a complaint. You too. Blondie. Thank you. The courtroom doesn't need that many chairs for all the A office. Gosh, we're such a patience. You guys just patience could get hurt here. The neighborhood here. is safer now. Thanks. Nobody went to jail, but you had to treat everybody like they were criminals. You could have went in there with a briefcase and a little note. You didn't have to put a gun in their face. Nobody went to jail. A gun was necessary? Really? Nobody even went to jail. Why was the gun necessary? Yeah. Why? They don't know. They're just back What were you protecting? Any, were you any final words? No, Your experience? How, how, how'd you enjoy the... What were you protecting? I'm not going to touch the door. They serve with guns. 